hi, it's Caitlin Hunter. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a birthday balloon wall that we did for one of our family Happy members birthday! and the cake that we made, the strawberry lemon cake and how it was decorated and also a floral arrangement and at the very end I'm going to have just a little video of um, this fruit tray we did for St. Patrick's Day. Today is St. Patrick's Day and you know we just I just want to do something just a little bit fun and um, it's I just want to share it. Um, besides that, I am going to be doing a Easter decor video. This week I'll be filming it. I already finished decorating. I just haven't gotten around to filming it. And I am looking forward to sharing that with you guys. I'm just so, uh, excited about it. Like, I, I love some of the things I came up with. And, um, also, I'm going to be doing a nursery walkthrough video, baby girl. And then we just closed on an investment property and we're going to be doing a lot of projects over there that I want to take you along with. And there will be other things that come up at our house too that I will be sharing. So if you don't already, please subscribe to my channel. Please like, please share, please comment below. I hope you guys are doing well and thank you for watching. Thank you for coming back if you are already my subscriber. Thank you. Okay, so I already have these balloon clusters made and I'm going to go through how I did them. Each um, cluster has eight balloons and it's a process and I'll take you through it. To make a cluster of eight balloons, I'm going to start by blowing up four sets of balloons using my very handy balloon pump from Amazon. I will link it below. I have had it for almost four years now and I cannot tell you how handy it has been. Here I am blowing up two balloons at a time and then I am tying the ends together of the balloons using a simple square knot. This will both help to tie them off and connect them. I will do this three more times and then I will show you guys how to build the clusters. Once you have four sets of two balloons tied together, you're going to take two sets and simply wrap the ends of both sets together. You will do this twice to make two sets of four. Now comes the fun part. Take the two sets of four and wrap them together. It's a little awkward at first, but I figured it out pretty quick. If you can get one or two of the balloons wrapped around each other, it should hold up pretty well. Also, I wanted to mention that if you are having trouble finding the right balloon color, you may want to try stuffing balloons. Here we are going for an orangey pink color scheme. I could not find the exact color in stores, so I bought some bright orange and stuffed them inside of both a white pearl balloon and a pink balloon. The white pearl balloon stuffed with orange came out to be a, this beautiful peach color and the pink balloon stuffed with the orange came out to be this pretty salmon pink color. Now we're moving into the living room where I'm planning to construct this balloon photo backdrop around the center window. I have five sets of eight clusters that I am now going to tie together using fishing line. I'm going for a swooped draped effect and the first part I am working on getting assembled is the long end. Now that I have some of the clusters tied together, I'm going to go ahead and try to hang the long end. I was going to use command strips, but I ended up using just clear thumbtacks. If you are worried about holes in your wall, then definitely use command strips. Once I have it positioned, next I'm going to start filtering in 24 inch balloons and some smaller ones to fill in the gaps. I used white duct tape and a low temp glue gun to help me secure these. wasn't recording when I did this but I added in this tablecloth that we have from our wedding it's a black sequin tablecloth and um, I closed the windows so we could see better and also behind that tablecloth it's kind of a um, see-through so I put a black 
bed sheet and this is what it looks like. The party's gonna be at night so it'll be pretty dark and you won't really see light coming through. Um, I'm gonna do another set of balloons across the top and start filtering in these bigger 21 inch balloons or 24 inch I think. And um, also I have this happy birthday um, sign that I'm gonna be putting up somewhere closer to the top because this is gonna be where we're gonna take pictures. And I wanna be able to see the happy birthday but also like see everybody's faces. So let's see, I'm gonna continue on this journey. It has not taken me that long yet. I like it so far. For the top, I'm going to start by attaching another one of those eight inch clusters with a clear thumbtack. Then I'm adding in the 24 inch balloon. I used a low temp glue gun to glue a plastic dowel to the bottom so that I could just stick it in there. And here I'm adding a smaller balloon to give it more variation in size. Here I am adding another cluster and I vary the sizes of this one but the concept is still the same as far as the construction and to finish it off I added a mini cluster of balloons to keep it lighter up top and there you have it there is a balloon swoop. Okay I went ahead and finished it up because I have other things I need to move on to and I didn't have time to get the camera going again but all I have done is I've pinned this happy birthday on with some safety pins and added in a little bit of a um, eucalyptus and I think it came out pretty good. Can't wait to surprise the birthday girl tomorrow. I'm gonna take you through the construction of this cake now. I'm gonna start this off by saying I am not a baker by any means or a professional cake decorator. I've just gotten into this over time and I'm pretty amateur still, but here I'm just cutting off the tops of the cakes to give them a flat top to make them easier when I stack them. These cakes are strawberry and lemon. Here I'm showing you that I've placed the cake on the sand. I'm gonna start stacking them, but first I'm gonna add a layer of simple syrup. And I have placed the first layer on a cardboard round that you can get at um, Walmart and anywhere where you can get cake decorating supplies. It makes it easier to move the cake around. Um, I also a tip is to put um, a wet paper towel underneath the cardboard on the glass cake stand just so it doesn't move around. It adds more friction. So once I have all the simple syrup on these, I'm gonna go ahead and start icing them. So here I'm piping on the buttercream. I'm not going to use too much of this because these cakes are already very moist. So I'm going very light with that and then in the center I'm putting some strawberry jelly. And I will continue to do that for all four layers. So I've already done a crumb coat with the icing and I've allowed the cake to chill in the fridge for about an hour. That will help this icing stick to the cake better. I am doing an ombre effect, so I have three different icing colors. I have this pink, and I have a yellow, and I have a white. The bottom part's gonna be the darkest color, which is pink, so I just go along the bottom and I put a line on there. And then next I'm gonna come in with the yellow and do the same. This does not have to be perfect because you're gonna come in later and you're gonna blend all of these colors together. Now I have the white on top, and I'm gonna go ahead and cover the top, and I'm gonna do a line across the top two. And now I have this cake scraper and I'm gonna go around and just spin the cake while I scrape off the excess icing and it's also gonna blend the colors together and give it more of that ombre look that we are going for here. Now I've allowed the cake to chill a little bit in the fridge and while it was chilling I tempered some chocolate and now this is the chocolate after it's been chilled. I was trying to get like white chocolate rolls, but it didn't quite work out, but I still was able to use these and it added great texture to it. All this is is melted white chocolate and I put it on the bottom of a pan and let it freeze. Now I'm gonna start decorating the cake. I'm using a combination of macaroons, French meringue, I have both strawberry and lemon, and I'm using pink and yellow colors as much as possible. There I'm adding in some of that tempered chocolate for texture, and then there are some strawberry wafers. I got them in the roll form and um, the cookie form. And I'm just gonna keep doing this pattern throughout and then I'm gonna come in and I'll show you when I get there um, that I'm gonna spray it with some luster dust. And towards the end here, you're gonna see my son Blake's hands come in. He's 
getting home from school and he's seeing me doing this and he wants to help of course he loves doing this stuff and this was for someone that we love greatly so he got right in there and was so excited he also helped me um, bake it that morning he woke up at 5 a.m before school and he was just so excited it was so cute I'm adding in these decorative flowers now. I had them left over from, um, I made my birthday cake in quarantine last year. I was pregnant, 35, just, you know, wanted to do something special. I'll insert a picture here of that cake and that was a really fun one too. Now I'm just adding in some of these sprinkles. They're kind of difficult to work with, so I kind of gave up. And then here I'm spritzing on some of that luster dust. I don't know if you can see. And there's my son's hands coming in and he's helping me and he's excited. Um, <clears throat> But that's about it. We're just going to go along the bottom and add in some more of these French meringues and just, you know, it kind of just organically we decorated it. There was no real plan for this and I think it turned out beautifully. Let me know what you guys think below. And here's the finished cake. And we are pretty proud of it. We are not professionals, but I still think it's beautiful. And there it is in action with the fireworks on it. Some little up close images of the cake and you can kind of see the luster dust. It was really blingy. Now I just wanted to quickly show you, I also made a floral arrangement for this and I just used uh, like a fuchsia pink roses and then these orange roses and um, I'm gonna take them out and place them. I'm just grabbing one at a time so you have pink, orange, pink, orange, pink, orange. And while I'm doing that, I'm also pulling some of the leaves off from the bottom because I don't want the leaves in the water because that'll lead to just some funky smells and whatnot. And there's my son and my husband in the background. My husband's doing the dishes. He's awesome. And uh, Blake's just like, what's going on? What are we doing? When's the party going to start? And anyway, so that's the little arrangement I made. And um, I enjoy putting flowers together. I just love flowers. And so that's pretty much everything I did for this party and I'll take you through a couple shots of everything put together. We really enjoyed this. Oh yeah, I'm also here, I'm adding in some, just some green uh, eucalyptus and some other green greenery just to give a little more depth. And that is it guys. Promised here is that fruit tray that I made for St. Patrick's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Mm -hmm.